He said, uh, you know, this, this is it. You know, this is the end of it. And uh, he lifted up the shotgun and he put it between my eyes and pushed me until I was backed up against the wall and I couldn't move. You're out on a mission. You're going to settle a score. You got tricked. I think as a society, we're not concerned with prevention, no matter what the subject is. We're concerned with um, intervention. Things have already happened. What do we do now? Versus how do we prevent things from happening? Which is, a, I mean, that's a harder question. I could feel the skin of my bony wrist screaming as it was pulled in opposing directions, sliding over the bone and the muscles swelling in self-defense. If you think about anything that you've tried to change in your life, whether it's quit, quit smoking, quit drinking, um, start exercising, quit eating bad foods, these are all things that we know are harming us, that we have a relationship with, but the concept of quitting them um, is very difficult. And we can live in ambivalence for a really long time before we try to make a change. The further things went, the worse it got. And when you completely lose who you are, that's, that's a scary place. My sister Tammy was 36 years old when her husband killed her. started yelling and screaming at me and, and then she started hitting on me, wailing on me, uh, coming at me with, with both hands just in the set and the other and I didn't respond immediately but I thought you know how much is this am I going to take? 